gonna lose it all! What's good everybody out there on YouTube? This is your man Shadix Stick dropping some hot frog on this mic. As we can tell, I just woke up. So ignore my bed. I swear to God, if y'all need me, I will, I will I'll hurt you. But on the real, this is a new format I wanted to do for news. But we're gonna be talking about the new Kingdom Hearts news that I released today. I tried to do a trailer reaction. My OBS, the when I went to the file, the audio was super corrupted and I, I just didn't know what to do. So I just decided to can that. Uh, I had a new format for reactions and stuff too. I was actually kind of happy, but guess what? It didn't happen. But uh, we're going to talk about the trailers. So the first trailer I want to talk about is the song trailer, which is the Don't Give Up trailer. Uh, the new song we got is actually pretty good. I don't want to play it here because I want to get a copyright strike, but I'll put a link to it down in the description or I have a card for it up here or up here, whatever. So you can go check it out. On top of that, we got some new insights into the story in terms of Riku side of the story. First thing I want to say is uh, they reference that there's another Riku. I'm thinking this is replica Riku or the Riku from the past from back when they closed the door to uh, darkness. And if that's the case, I I'm actually gonna, I'm, I'm kind of interested in what they're going to take with this approach. Uh, are they gonna, you know, basically resummon Riku Replica? Because Riku Replica was his own entity. It wasn't like he was a an exact robot. He was legitimately a Riku. It was in his name. He was a replica of Riku. So I want to see what they would do with that, how they would approach it. And it basically shows way to Don being broken. And he says, I can't use this anymore. It's not useful to me anymore. You know, basically meaning Riku's gonna have a new iconic Keyblade. All right, so that that's one thing that really does excite me. I want to see what Riku's new like base keyblade's gonna be. His new outfit is is really amazing. Like people were sleeping on short hair Riku. They were sleeping. They were like, I like it better when his hair was longer, like in Kingdom Hearts One or even like Kingdom Hearts like Two. I love that Riku. But nah, be my boy Riku pulled out the short hair, got the got the new clothes, looking fly. My boy got some dog on. He got some Gucci on, my, my boy is saucing out here. I, I really want to see how they're going to approach this. We know Riku's going to go save Aqua, so are we just going to go through the realm of darkness? Or are we going to go through, you know, worlds swallowed by darkness? Because if you guys remember correctly, Aqua went through worlds that were swallowed by darkness. It wasn't just, you know, one world. I think, it, I, you know, she went through Sleeping Beauty's world. And she also went through Destiny Island, so could this mean multiple worlds? And are we able to go between all the worlds with both Riku and Sora? I kind of want to see what they would do with this, because if you play Dream Drop Distance, you know, Sora and Riku got individual versions of each world. So I don't know if they're going to do something akin to that, or they're going to do something where you can, you know, go back and visit the worlds as either character. I'd prefer, you know, the latter of what I just said, but if it's the former, I'll be fine with it. We get to play Riku. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the big D23 trailer, which, you know, showed off Monsters, Inc. It showed off some more stuff for Toy Story and Tangled. And I got to say, this is going to be amazing. This game just is going to be amazing. They showed off a lot and a lot more gameplay and Keyblade transformation stuff. They showed off a summon, actually, where uh, Ariel from The Little Mermaid actually came out and was summoned and, and she was doing work. I was just like... They found a way to implement the, you know, uh, the Little Mermaid and not make it annoying. So I, 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 I like this actually, and that was something that I was actually pretty happy to see. Now, if you guys aren't, you know, fond of that, you know, it, it doesn't matter because this trailer was raw. We got to see the size sizes of the worlds, and what I have to say is, these worlds are going to be massive. Like, imagine every world combined in Kingdom Hearts two. That's the base, that's, ba or, or one, let's say one, Kingdom Hearts one sized worlds, all right? Imagine all those combined, and then all of them have like, all of them have the, you know, surface area of Kingdom Hearts one, but they have the height of, I mean, the surface, like, just, you know, the width and, and the amount of sp space spanning as Kingdom Hearts two, but the verticality of Kingdom Hearts one, that, that's what Kingdom Hearts 3 worlds are going to be. They're going to be massive. You see Sora going through the Monsters, Inc. world, which those screenshots basically confirmed that the Monsters, Inc. world was actually coming. Those leaks were real. Um, the world list leak, which I, I'm not going to talk about any of that, but I, I will say Monsters, Inc. was on there, and it's a confirmed world now. So to see that is something that I, I, I'm is making me feel like that entire world list was, you know, even more right. But... Again, that's a world list you can go look up on the internet. 
I'm not gonna try to spoil it here for you. But yeah, we got to see Donald's and Goofy's design and Sora's design from the front. And uh, all I gotta say is, uh, it's, Donald's doesn't not bother me so much. It's Goofy that bothers me. His eyes are doing this little rant, rant thing, and then they're both different colors, and they're just it's just really weird. Um, we get to see Mike Wazowski and uh, Sully, and we get to see Boo. Boo is actually a part of the story. Now, I, I couldn't understand what they were saying because I watched the Japanese trailer. I didn't go and bother and watch the English trailer. We get Marluce and Vanitas returning to the story, which is something that I like. Uh, again, I watched the Japanese version of the trailer. Um, it looked like Marluce was telling Sora, trying to tell Sora about the past or whatever, who he was, and blah, blah, blah. He's going to capture him. Probably that's probably what the shtick was. Then Vanitas comes up to Sora and he refers to Sora as Ventus or whatever. Says so he's gonna get Ventus, I'm assuming. Blah blah blah. And <laughs> Sora's like, nah, and they end the trailer. Uh, this trailer was just really amazing. I really liked what they did with um, the characters and the worlds. It, it looks like they're trying to recapture what we got in, like, say, for instance, Kingdom Hearts 1. We're getting a lot of new worlds, a lot of new people instead of seeing a lot of the the old and some new that that's one thing about kingdom hearts 2 that always you know kind of didn't stick with me was how there was a lot of old and not a lot of new whereas with this we got a lot of new just like it feels like you know the end of the series it feels like a way to end the series it feels like this is somewhat of like the swan song of the xehanort uh it's like well it is a swan song of the Xehanort Saga, and I'm glad that they're ending it off on such a grand note because the Tor Story world, say for instance, it, it, we know it's going to be massive. The fact that you can walk outside of Andy's house, inside of Andy's house, and just go to this um, toy place or whatever, and the grand scale of the area just shows how big of a project Kingdom Hearts 3 was. These five years of development make sense now. People complained about not getting the game, but it, we can tell right here that they are putting in work. They're trying to deliver a product that's just amazing, you know what I mean? So, just guys, tell me how you feel about these Kingdom Hearts 3 trailers down in the comment section down below. This has been your man, Shadixic. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Tell me if you like the new setup of uh, how I'm doing these news videos. And go ahead and uh, help me on Patreon. It really does help your boy. A dollar a month, you know, basically helps your boy. So, if you can even donate a dollar on Patreon, it helps. This has been your man, Shadixic. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Share this video out with your friends, and we're out of here. Peace. Kiss, kiss.